I'm one of the luckiest people I know. It's in the little details that you get to see the great men. He stands for important causes in a way that makes you want to support him. He is so curious and so much thinking out of the box and so much concerned about the strategic issues. His tenacity, his sense of insight, his smarts. He means what he says. He has made a significant difference over the years. He was a role model for a whole younger generation like myself. He doesn't believe it's a younger generation, but I have the chance to say it and I'm going to say it. You have the uh, very, very unique combination of uh, great heart and unbelievable sharp mind. I, ca I, can't, I can't compare him to anybody else, really. <laughs> he is unique. In 1959, Bronx native and aspiring lawyer Ken Bialkin takes his first trip to Israel with his wife Anne, an event of great future impact. When I got to Israel, I was fortunate to meet many Israelis. They were involved in the struggle for their own survival, and I felt that their survival uh, is relevant to the survival of the Jewish people everywhere. And so it was really in 1959 that I experienced an epiphany. As a visionary man of action, Ken's inner experience translated over the years into his effective involvement with countless Jewish American organizations. I believe that history is influenced by the, by the activity and rise of people doing things, speaking, writing, active. He lived by his commitment to Israel, and even when the heat was focused on him, he just stood up there and took it and kept through, kept doing with what he had to do. He expressed views openly that were not the uh, common politically correct views. In a charming way that no one could uh, be angry with him for that. He is a man who talks truth to power. He has strong convictions and beliefs. He's not somebody who wavers with wind and with the changes, but what he says comes from his heart and his mind. With steadfast conviction, power, and commitment, Mr. Bialkin has served as chairman of the Business Law Section of the American Bar Association, as president of the New York County Lawyers Association, and on the board of directors of several of America's leading companies. There aren't that many who reach uh, a level of recognition, celebrity, in their field, his field, the law, which he sets the standard, if you will and at the same time is so comfortable in his advocacy, pride of being Jewish. Ken lived for the cause that he believed in, and the Jewish people and the causes of the Jewish people were his, uh, his preoccupation, and he made. Ken is passionate about Israel. He's passionate about the people, he's passionate about the state, he's passionate about nurturing bonds between Israelis and American Jews and Americans in general. And so I consider Kenny an essential ingredient of the U.S.-Israeli uh, relationship, and I can't even imagine how it could be otherwise. Acknowledging his unique perspective and penetrating insight, both American presidents and Israeli prime ministers have sought Ken Bialkin's counsel and advice. Kenny was always at the center, and he was a guy you could turn to for sound advice. I always knew I could rely on his judgment, I could have his advice, and will always, I personally and the State of Israel, will have his support. When I was in office, it's very important that there be people that can translate the needs and objectives within the context in which they have to be applied. And Ken has an unusual faculty to do that. Nothing happens by itself. The movements of cultures and civilizations do not follow some formula of preordainment that would happen 
if it weren't for the efforts of people. Beyond that, Kenny has uh, contributed immensely and made a real important contribution in the business field. Uh, because of his position and because of his uh, stature in the, in the industry, he was uh, probably the first lawyer who got Israeli companies into the U.S. capital market. You take almost every high-tech company and you see his fingerprint on it. Uh, not only that, but he also grew a whole generation of young lawyers which continue to do it. My mother told me to do my best and try my hardest. And um, I've done my best and I've tried my hardest. He has a very special connection with Jerusalem. He was one of the first members of the Jerusalem Foundation. And as mayor, I thank him for his efforts and philanthropy, which have resulted in many advancements in our city. During over six decades, have tirelessly devoted your life to the survival of the Jewish people and the state of Israel. And he especially strengthened the ties by heading for so many years the America-Israel Friendship League which is the true guardian of Israeli-American relations. And it's never going to be perfect. Um, uh, and the perfect, as you know, is the enemy of the good. And uh, I see only good when I look at Israel. The America-Israel Friendship League is proud to present its 2015 Partners for Democracy Award to Kenneth J. Bialkin, lawyer, philanthropist, and a prominent leader of the American Jewish community.